children. Today I begin with a new lesson that is fundamental unit of life. What is a cell? The definition of the same I taught you in class 8. Yet, once again I explain that cell is the structural and functional unit of living organisms. There are two types of cells. What are they? They are prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. There is a vast difference between a prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell. Let's examine how a prokaryotic cell differ from a eukaryotic cell. Number one. Prokaryotic cells are smaller in size. Whereas eukaryotic cells are bigger in size. Second point, prokaryotic cells don't have a well-organized nucleus. What is meant by a well-organized nucleus? Well-organized nucleus means such a nucleus has a membrane or an envelope which encloses nuclear materials like nucleus and chromatin. But in prokaryotic cells are lacking of membrane bound nucleus. In prokaryotes, nucleus is represented by a circular DNA. This is known as nucleoid or it is also known as incipient nucleus. Whereas, eukaryotic cells are having a well-organized, a membrane-bound nucleus. Third point, in a prokaryotic cell, nucleus is absent. Whereas, a eukaryotic cell has a well-defined nucleus which is placed inside the nucleus. Fourth point, in a prokaryotic cell, membrane-bound cell organelles are absent. What are these membrane-bound cell organelles? They are mitochondria, plastids, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex or Golgi apparatus, lysosomes, etc. Whereas a prokaryotic cell has all 
inner membrane bound with cell organelles. That means they are having plastics, they are having endoplasmic reticulum, they have lysosomes, they have Golgi complex and so on. Now let's see how an animal cell differ from a plant cell. The same topic I taught you in class 8. Here you go. Once again, I would like to introduce. Animal cells are generally small in size. Whereas, plant cells are bigger in size. Second point, in an animal cell, cell wall is absent, whereas in a plant cell, the outermost boundary is cell wall. Third point, Animal cells are lacking of plastids, whereas plant cell has three different types of plastids such as chloroplast, chromoplast and leucoplast. Fourth point, in an animal cell Single Golgi apparatus is present, whereas in a plant cell Golgi apparatus is so many. Fifth point, vacuum or vacuoles are small sized in an animal cell, whereas a typical plant cell has a large sized vacuum which is placed at the center of the cell. Sixth point, in an animal cell, nucleus is placed at the center of the cell. Whereas, in a plant cell, nucleus is pushed towards the periphery of the cell because the center of the cell is occupied a large nucleus. That's all for you today. We will continue tomorrow. Thank you and have a nice day.